Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm doing a series, this is going to be the start of a series of videos that I'm going to shoot for the up and coming John Muir Trail through hike that we're getting ready to do a little bit later this month. Uh, it's August 1st right now and I hope to have this video uploaded by probably by the, you know, another night or two uh, at the most. So uh, hopefully this video will be uploaded pretty soon, uh, but I wanted to go over my food prep and how much food I'm bringing on the John Muir Trail. Now, there's many videos out there of people who are doing their own food prep and what they're bringing and, you know, that kind of stuff. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to lay out all the food that I have. Uh, granted, I'm not going to show what my resupply is just because it's pretty much everything that I have here, double. Now, there's also a couple of things that are in my resupply that are not in my original canister. Uh, like for one, I'm bringing a bottle of 12-year-old single malt scotch uh, for celebratory uh, every night that we make along the trail, uh, as well as I'm bringing a little, uh, little tiny thing of, got it right here. So this is going to go in my backpack. This is 12 year old single malt scotch and a little tiny plastic bottle because I didn't want to bring a big heavy glass bottle. So this will be from Mount Whitney and so on and so forth. Maybe just a little sip every, uh, every night or so right before I go to bed. Good for the soul, good for the spirit. And, uh, it's good for you, you know, it's scotch, come on. So I'm gonna lay out all my food, I'm just gonna show you what I'm bringing. Yeah, I'll just go over each individual, you know, I'm doing basically like, it's about five to six meals a day, so I'm doing, you know, breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, snack. All right, so we're gonna start off with breakfasts, and I also have, I don't have out here, but I also have some dehydrated blueberries, and I'm also gonna supplement some of my trail mix into my oatmeals in the morning. So I'm doing oatmeal every morning, uh, but I'll change it up. Uh, some mornings I'll do blueberries, some mornings I'll do trail mix in with the oatmeal. Pop-tarts. Then for snack, I got a bar. These are uh, Cliff Bars, 20 grams of protein, Builder's Bars. For lunches, I'm alternating tuna and salami and cheese. So I'm doing, you know, a wrap for the first day. So it would be this jalapeno tuna and a tortilla. So I'll be doing tortillas with that. And then for snack, I have these little Trader Joe's fruit leathers. These are really, really good. And the Snickers. And then I have my dinners. These are Mountain House, uh, this noodles and chicken. I also have a small little, little jar here of olive oil. There's another one of those going in my resupply. Off to the side here, I have my trail mix, my candy, you know, some Mike and Ike, some gummy bears some of those Starburst Minis. Uh, I have just an extra thing of ramen just in case. It's creamy chicken. And I have some chili spiced mango and regular uh, mango, sweet mango, both dried. So those will be broken up into eight for the first eight days. We're doing 16 day prep. Next day, I got oatmeal, some almond butter just to change things up a little bit. Snickers, salami and cheese for snack. And I basically, I vacuum sealed these to keep them all nice and fresh. So those will stay in the fridge until I'm ready to put them in the canister. Got a payday, once again, just to kind of change it up a little bit. Fruit leather, dinner, same thing. Breakfast, Pop-Tart, you know, oatmeal and a Pop-Tart, bar, tuna, fruit leather in a, in a bar, and then dinner. Same thing, each and every day, but I alternated and I don't have the same bars on every day. So just to try to change it up a little bit. Off to the side here, I have my electrolytes, which are little Gatorade packs. These little guys, really good, they're perfect. I think they're 16 ounces, something like that. 20 fluid ounces, so this will be my electrolyte mix. These I got on Amazon, they're just those little uh, Mylar bags. They're stand-up bags too, so they're basically, they simulate the uh, Mountain House packaging. So I'm gonna repackage some of mine uh, and cook them in these bags. You know, boil water in a small pot, save weight, and then just cook everything in these bags and then just kind of wash them out and reuse them. I'm bringing about six of them uh, on the first trip and I have more in my resupply. Got a couple things of uh, mashed potatoes, fully loaded uh, potatoes with peppered bacon and cheddar, and then I have four cheese. So that's about seven to eight servings right there. So I'll break that up individual uh, with my dinners. So the sandwich thins are gonna be for the tuna. So I'll make little sandwiches. And then I have just a little pack right here of just some stuff I've been collecting, you know, hot sauce, salt and pepper packets, tapatio, 
There's some spicy brown mustard packets in here, were, which was a great find. I found those in the airport. But basically, that's my eight-day prep right here. Um, I also have some extra food. So, but this is all of this right here is going to go in my canister. And as I said, we're planning on eight, 16 days here. So technically 15 days because that's our itinerary. But I always plan on an extra day just in case, you know, if it takes us a little bit longer or if we run into trouble, we need to stay an extra day. It's always good to have a little extra food, in my opinion. It's worth the extra weight and I don't mind carrying it. So all of this is going to go into my barricade expedition. This is a little beat up, but it's a rental. So this isn't mine. And the guys over at uh, Wild Ideas were really, really nice enough to uh, send out three of these for my trip. Uh, one for each of us. And so yeah. I just, what I did was I put a little, uh, these kind of just close in just like that. But what I did is I put a little piece of duct tape right here uh, with a washer. Just, just a regular washer right there. So what that's going to do is it's going to prevent me from losing my washer. Uh, I'll probably put a second one somewhere on my pack on a carabiner or maybe put it on a necklace or something like that. Because that's how you open this thing. There's this little cable and then quarter turn screws. So if you've never seen a barricade uh, bear canister before, these things are awesome. And they're just over two pounds uh, empty. So a little bit lighter than a one of those, uh, what are they called, the uh, bear vaults. But this thing is pretty solid and it's tested against a grizzly bear. So really solid canister made right here on the central coast. Definitely want to make sure you check out Wild Ideas. Uh, these guys make some pretty great uh, bear canisters in all shapes and sizes too. So definitely worth a look at. But all this food is going to go in here and that'll be my first leg of the trip. Now I have pretty much almost identical to this setup that's going in my bucket that's going to be mailed out tomorrow. So, but this is all my food for eight days, including candy. I have, you know, the same amount of candy uh, in my resupply. There's also scotch and some other things in there as well. So that's pretty much it. All right, so that's my eight day meal prep for the John Muir Trail 2017. As I said, we're, it's August 1st and we head out on the trail August 21st. So we have 20 days technically before we're on trail. Super stoked, super excited. It's about two years in the making uh, for this trip to come through fruition. And it's actually here. So it's like just become super real. And I can't wait to get out there. Uh, there's also a lot of logistics that go into planning a trip like this. You know, how much food do you need to bring on a daily basis? How many calories per pound or per ounce? You know, are you going to be, you know, be burning a lot on a trail like this? So you probably won't be able to eat as many calories as you're going to be burning on a daily basis. So something to be said about that. You'll probably lose about 10 to 15 pounds too normally on a trail like this. All that food is going in my barricade. This is the expedition size and it's just cool. I like it. It's all carbon fiber. Uh, it does have some scratches on it, but it is a rental. No big deal. And just for, you know, I just put the little piece of duct tape on here with a washer. Just that's how you open up these screws. They're called Zeus screws. So they're quarter turn screws. You just pop them off and then off you go. Now there is also a really nice O-ring around this. It's a CNC machined aluminum here. So there's a really nice O-ring that goes around this edge right here. And that's what makes this uh, this canister watertight. So it's going to keep the keep the water from getting inside. More importantly, it's going to keep the bears from getting your food, uh, which is super important because you're out there. You got to have food. You got to have your resupply. Um, without food and provisions, you're dead in the water. So this is coming with us. This is going to go right in my pack. And I'm still kind of working out the logistics. I'll shoot another video on that. So I think it might just go in this way in my pack, or I might just strap it to the outside on the top like this. Now, all this food with the canister uh, and the tortillas and the bread, uh, everything total is 16 pounds even, like on the on the button. That's going to be plenty fine. My resupply is a little less, actually. It's... Um, my resupply is about 15 pounds. So yeah, stay tuned to my channel because I'm going to be shooting a lot more videos in the logistics side of things on how to, you know, what I'm bringing in my pack, what kind of gear am I bringing. So I'll break it up into systems like sleep system, uh, what kind of shelter am I bringing, uh, what kind of clothes am I bringing, those kind of things. So, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel 
and you know subscribe hit the little bell icon right next to the subscribe this way you get notified every time i make a new video and post it so really appreciate you checking out my latest video john Muir trails coming up in 20 days uh, so thanks again please keep checking back for more gear reviews outdoor related hodgepodge gear talk camera and tech reviews and giveaways take care guys get outdoors